Bad. Why won't you connect? Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. So I'm sitting here in my car uh, with a brand new Galaxy Note 5. This is the Verizon model. I'm not entirely sure if things are going to behave the same on all the models, but here's the way it works for the Verizon model with Android Auto. If you plug it in right here, really nothing at all happens. It just kind of sits there a lot of the time. And that's because of the way this thing connects. Uh, when you first plug it in to a computer, you've seen this before, it will basically ask if you want to install some Verizon software. And so when you plug it into your car, the same thing tends to happen. What you need to do is change it over to the MTP uh, function uh, of USB once you plug it in. So it's real simple. All you gotta do is drag it down and tap once or twice and you're done. So here we'll zoom in and give you a better look how to do that. Okay, here's all you have to do once you're plugged in, and I've slowed this down a little bit to make it easier to see. So you plug in and you pull down the notification drawer and go up to where it says touch for other USB options there under connected as an installer. And then you choose MTP and that's it. It'll connect to Android Auto. So one other thing we found that can help is if you turn on USB debugging, that should take it to Android Auto every time you plug in. And again, that quick caveat, this is the Verizon Note 5. It might well behave better on other models, and it doesn't do it every time. But if you do have an issue connecting, this is where I would start.